Hi, I'm Shar Campbell. I'm here with Janice Janice. And Hi, she's <laughs> Hi, Janice. <laughs> she's going to tell us about her three retirements and what a difference that's made in her life. <laughs> so I, I know you've had a, a number of different work lives, so tell, tell us about that. Okay, the first one I call my corporate, corporate life. And that was, I worked for the phone company for like 15 years, and they offered early retirement, and I went, sign me up. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and my husband and I at the time, we uh, took off. I had a year's salary coming to me and insurance and everything, so we went and lived in London and traveled around the UK, and that was really great. And then... Um, then we came back and I started getting busy going to classes, school classes, and pretty soon I went to a COBOL computer class. And then all of a sudden I discovered I wanted a storefront. So I went back to work with a store with Eye of the Day. So here we come, my second career. I uh, had a storefront called Eye of the Day, a metaphysical five and dime. Yeah. And, Great name. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I sold incense, candles, aromatherapy products. I have an, had an astrologer there and everything. And then, I don't know, just one day the store told me it was time to leave. And so I left. I left my husband. I left my job. I mean, you know, my career. And with nothing, I traveled to Colorado, mm. where I met you. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and then, so that time I had to kind of get back into gear so I started doing Eye of the Day wholesale okay. so I did that for I don't know a number of years I think like 10 more years or something like that and uh, it became really successful and I designed mm -hmm. an award-winning gift card line but mm -hmm. I kept coming up with like by 52 I want to retire you know so 52 came along and I was on a silent retreat and I retired again. Nice. So I sold everything and um, I came to, went to San Francisco and I hung out at a friend's for a year or two and God, at the beginning I just like read. Mm. I mean, you know, I read books because I just hadn't been able to. I'd been so married to my business that I hadn't been able to do that. And as time went along, I, I started searching for something else to do, you know, and I went to, um, I came back to Colorado, a, a, a place came a, became available at my friend's house, and I came back to Colorado, and um, I started doing volunteer work and everything, and pretty soon he was running a business out of his house, so I started designing his catalog for him, and then I took over when he went on vacation and pretty soon I was working full time for him and living with him full time <laughs> so it wasn't a bad deal no <laughs> no uh, but you know then as time went along I mean you know then I got into my 60s and closer to 65 and now I'm 66 and it was just like we both went well first Charlie was going to retire and I was going to keep working and then I went well I don't want to do this anymore I'm done and that's how I feel I feel mm -hmm. like I'm done you know working you've had enough work yeah but and it's nice to have those interims in between where you could do those things and yeah. enjoy life without working all the time that's right yeah you know and um, it seemed like the abundance was there that mm -hmm. I could do that. I didn't have fear of that piece of it. So that that was really that that did help. That yeah. was like a big support. Yeah. And um, and now it's just like it's like there's a completion mm -hmm. of working, mm -hmm. you know. And more, even though we have a big bucket list, you know. I mean, I have this bucket list of things to do, and it seems like. We've had a lot of company and, you know, haven't started getting to those things at the bucket list, but there's something about not having the stress of a phone ringing or somebody else wanting a piece of me that's very nice, yeah. you know, that I like. Yeah. 
How is it different in, in retired life than it is in your work life? What's, what's in, the difference between the two for you? Well, like, well I'm not, mentioned. yeah, what I just mentioned, but I'm not in a hurry anymore. Like Charlie sometimes says, well, we have to get up and get going. I said, why? We're on vacation. <laughs> you know, we're retired. We right. have no time limit. We have no time we have to get anywhere or be any place, you know, unless we have a commitment. But I'm right. just saying there's no time frame. And we can get in the car and take off and not have to worry about dragging, you know, our laptop with us and the phones with us and, and yeah. you know, checking did the bills come in or who's going to take care of the bills while we're gone or we can only be gone a certain amount of time. Right. There's just a real element of freedom around that. That's what I was getting to from you. Yeah. It was just the freedom of that. Yeah. And it's it's opened up space for me too when you're not working. You know, mm. it's like there's space in my brain. Mm. It's it's like just being in that art show. Uh-huh. I never had time to do that or be creative enough to do that because my creativity went all for the business right. or doing a family calendar or something like that. So here I could put, you know, things, my photography, I could put it into an art show and it, and I got rewarded for that, That's you know, great. not at so much on a monetary level. I mean, that was, that was secondary to somebody appreciating what I had done. Acknowledging your, yeah, your acknowledging, creativity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, maybe in the future, you know, we've talked about doing, like, art shows, because Charlie's an artist, but that, too, wouldn't be, that would be because we want to go someplace, mm. and that would be, like, maybe a fun thing to do. If it's not fun, mm -hmm. then it's not going to happen. And I like that attitude, and I think that's one of the things that I would love people to have more of in their lives is that sense of, if it's not so much fun, I'm not sure I want to keep doing it, and how can... Do, would you have any recommendations for anybody about how to keep fun happening while they're working? Because not yeah. everybody can retire three times well, in their uh, life. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I was thinking about that when you were, when you said that. Is like, when I sold Eye of the Day, the, the wholesale end of it, it was, had not been fun anymore. Mm -hmm. So if you start, you know, you should do something that you have a passion about. And when you lose sure. that passion then it's time to move on to the next thing. Yeah. And I think, I think it's about trust. Mm -hmm. You know, I've had, I've been lucky. I've been, had the experience of being able to trust that something else will come. Mm. And, That's huge. And seeing that, acknowledging it, seeing yeah. the signs, I think that's the biggest thing is that, you know, because you could have fun. I loved Eye of the Day. Yeah. I mean, it was so much fun and everything. And then when I lost my passion for it. And it's time to. to it's time to move, move on. Forward. You know, it's time to figure out, okay, if I did this, this, and this, and this, you know, I can afford to do that. Mm -hmm. I can afford to retire, mm -hmm. you know. Even putting it out there. I mean, I, in, I within Eye of the Day, I decided to design this gift card line. I saw it. This would help me. This mm -hmm. would make helped me on the monetary side of things. Yeah. So I pursued that, even though it was hard, but I pursued that, you know. And I was rewarded, I mean, not only monetarily, but I was rewarded on a, on a creative level for, de, for the design level. Yeah. And, I, and I think, too, with Eye of the Day, Eye of the Day was a really creative outlet for yeah. me, too. So I, it, was, it was my relationship. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And now you have a relationship with Charlie and, right. and a new life and, and yeah. you can enjoy yourself. That's right. Have fun. So as Charlie's down in the basement uh, redoing the, uh, the laundry room, you know, I can be out here with you and not have to worry about a phone ringing right. or any right. of that stuff. So. Well, I really like what you said about trusting and then just finding a way and going with your passion. That's I think right. That's so important. Yeah. So important. Yeah. Thanks so much. You're welcome. It was great. Enjoy Thank your you. retirement. <laughs> <laughs>